I'm on a winning streak, I'm on a winning streak, I'm on a winning streak, yeah, I'm on a winning streak, 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 yeah, I'm on a winning streak. It's madness all over, but we'll get so involved in the protesting process and, and arguing and fighting the fighting part that when it's time to actually sit down, be diplomatic, and now okay, we hear you. What do we need to change? Uh, uh, hands up, don't shoot, stop the NFL, hands, it's like, what, oh, no, 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 I'm telling you, no, 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 we hear you, we're going to work in any facet that we can to make that um, become a reality, what do you need from us? Um, to be honest, I, I never thought about this part of the protest. Did you? No, no. Yeah, I was, I just had, he just told me to hold the sign. I was just, uh, I'm not even sure why we out here. Um, I love the NFL. I watch it every, every Sunday. I, I, was, I, I just wanted to come out and hold the sign. Bitch, if y'all open my door, I'll beat your motherfucking ass, ho. This nasty ass, trifling ass, little stanky pussy bitch. Hold on, let me put the flash on. I ain't watching out shit. This nasty ass, stanky ass bitch in my motherfucking house, fucking and sucking and eating up my motherfucking snacks with her fucking panties and shit all in my motherfucking house, hiding in the closet. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast, where this might be on the Patreon. I'm not sure this is why you want to get to the Patreon uh, so that you can, no matter where the shit is at, you can, uh, you will never be outside of the loop. Um, look at that, Katrina. Don't you love that? Um, but... I gotta go ahead and get this shit out of my mind. So welcome back to the Big Face Podcast. We're just running like we don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement. Um, you're gonna find that out in October. And this is Um as in Jay-Z, are you serious? Are we serious? Um I this is one of the reasons why you have to if you're gonna do this shit to me if, if integrity matters to you then you you gonna have to you know jump on shit when it's time to jump on it but also you put yourself in a situation because uh if you jump out there too fast you might regret what it is you say what i'm talking about is um shout out to star in the morning shout out to uh tor troy terrain um uh, shout out to star um, and his platform, the Star Report. Um, <laughs> my thought, um, after talking to my OG, um, the one who, you know, pretty much lets me see shit from a, um, you know, an older gentleman that I respect, um, wrote down to me what it is with this Jay Z shit. I did start looking at fucking Colin Kaepernick. And like I said, me and my OG talked two days ago. So I should have been did this shit. Um, but with this new workout, new diet, and all this new schedule, um, of course, I didn't do it. But then I saw um, Star title one of his... Uh, actually, it was today. He titled his... Um, and today is... I shouldn't say the date, but... Um, He titled his live stream um, something to the extent of 
uh, is Colin Kaepernick a sellout? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's really where I want to go with it. Like, fuck what Jay-Z did. When goddamn, when, when fucking, when, uh, when Kaepernick took that deal with, um, and it's a whole bunch of shit. It's a whole bunch of shit. Uh, niggas are gonna respond, um, ah, uh, nigga. Nigga, uh, that was his back pay. That was that's what he was gonna make with the league, and it very well may have been. What I'm saying is, how in the fuck do these goddamn people buy your silence? As in, nigga, you can't even goddamn go protest no more. To say that you're standing with Cap, that shit meant something. Right up until the time when he signed that paper, and he's like, right, y'all do y'all thing. He's not at the fucking, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 like, how would that not dissipate the fucking energy? You got to deal with Nike. So, whatever you was going to make in a league, you, nigga, I'd be motherfucked if that money ain't come uh, so many different ways. But, but, but. If you can, if they, if they say, hey, come to the table, we're going to cut you some, um, all right, they want to make a deal, all right, uh, but y'all motherfuckers wrong as fuck, oh, we understand all that, all right, now here's your money, now, but in order for you to get this money, um, you got to sign a non-disclosure agreement, of course, you're not, hey, oh, why do I got to sign, my people are going to want to know that I was paid for my misfortune, they need to know that, you know, I took a slug out y'all ass. They need to know that. Um, oh, well, you're not gonna, we can't give you that, but we're gonna give you a substantial amount. It, you know, to where he might have had to make a decision like, if you want to talk about it, you can sign this deal and get this much money, but if you want this much money, you're gonna have to sign a non-disclosure agreement. And at the end of the day, You're not in the league no more. We as black people don't seem to be that fucking, because that's what we're talking about. We don't seem to be that fucking organized to where we'll got, you know, and, and I, maybe that's maybe that's one of the reasons, maybe that's one of the, 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 the factors that drove him to the table with the NFL, seeing how fucking disorganized we were and how discombobulated we were as far as uh, handling business with the protest. Seeing that after the kneeling, Nigga, shit, nigga, we not doing the shit that we, and maybe you, you and you're privy to the back room conversations and you're seeing how at every turn we're trying to fucking stab each other. And as soon as we put somebody up as a leader, we find out, we try to do our best to tear that motherfucker down. Nobody is good enough to be put in the, put in, in charge or to be a leader of the black community. And I don't understand. Shout out to my man uh, uh, TD Tony DeLarme, um, uh TD Hip Hop Media. Um, he just said, uh, we don't have black leaders no more. That shit is dead. He said, that's good. We're all individuals as a collective. We're individuals in a collective. And I'm probably saying it wrong. So get over to his page so you can see exactly what he said. It's like, but he was coming from a standpoint of like, it's good that we don't have black leaders. Maybe that's a, a safety pr a protocol that we shouldn't have a, 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 a black leader and shit like that. But that's even further more. I'm, that's not what I'm on. What I'm on is, but this is all the layers that you have to fuck with before you even talk about Jay-Z. Before we talk about Jay-Z, we need to see what was the antithesis of this motion. If Jay-Z goes to the table before Colin does business with these people and signs a non-disclosure agreement and Jay-Z knowing business knows probably, you know, has a better understanding than we do of what went, went on behind that door, uh, behind closed doors, um, he says, okay, well, it's, I can tell by your business move you just made that you're no longer protesting the NFL. They gave you something to where you straight, you good. Um, you're no longer a, a person anymore. You are a an 
enigma or a a fucking idea, a theory. Colin Kaepernick is a fucking you know what I'm saying? He's not a tangible person anymore. It's, it's an abstract, a way of fucking thinking. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's been done. It's been done. Um, you took the fucking money. As long as we're protesting, we're protesting. Going so far to say, you know, Jay Z um, even turned down uh, a halftime show whilst um, Colin was protesting. Um, so for him to go in and fuck with the NFL whilst telling niggas don't fuck with the NFL, we ain't doing no they halftime show, they need us and all that shit like that. He didn't go whilst the, you know the protest was on. The way that Jay Z is looking at it is the man who had a problem. No longer has a problem. He allowed them to buy his fucking silence. So he don't have no fucking issue. All good. Let's get back to business now. And uh, as a matter of fact, let's get a nigga in here to make sure we see what's going on. And even if not for everybody, all the rest of the black people, nigga, for me. This is a good move for me. I'm a businessman. This is a good move for me. But... It goes, but I'm saying if that's how you want to think, if, if you want to think like uh, Jay Z, he just in it for himself, then you can just think like that. Then, after the nigga who was violated, go makes a deal with the people that violated him. Everything is all good. So much more onto that. You niggas is still playing fucking football. Do you know that it's niggas in the league saying, oh, that's some bullshit to goddamn Jay-Z out there. That's some bullshit that nigga did, bro. That's some bullshit, bro. That nigga goddamn Jay-Z can't fuck around, dog. How the fuck that nigga gonna goddamn sign a deal with the NFL and the fuck, fuck, man? What kind of nigga that is? Nigga, you suiting up every Sunday. Going to practice on time, making sure that these motherfuckers don't find you. Following rule, down your eyes, crossing your T's. I'm trying to the T, you're following these motherfuckers' rules and regulations. How in the fuck are you niggas saying anything about what the fuck Jay Z did? You niggas ain't never fuck with the protest. You niggas ain't turned on a nickel. Go back in my fucking videos. I'm the one who said, nigga, when the NFL is going through some shit with these motherfuckers, everybody's on the golf course. The owners of the NFL, the owners of the NCAA, the owners of the NCAA, the owners of the NBA, all the motherfuckers go to the same goddamn golf course with Big Pharma, the music industry, uh, Big Tobacco, um, uh, the fucking uh, judges, the fucking... Uh, the heads of the, the prosecution, DAs, federal investigators, all on the fucking golf course just having a good old time. And you can imagine the other little people that's there. The people that control and the people that profit off the demise of the black man. The conversation is about the black man as a black man you're either going to doesn't matter what the fuck you do first of all you're going to make us money but you're either going to entertain us work for us or you're going to work for us you know what I'm saying? you can work for us outside or inside don't really give i don't give a fuck So let, let's let's just get that that whole thing understood. At the end of the day, who else said this shit uh, about if if, uh, if the if the league was uh, pre predominantly white? You know what I'm saying? How, how different this shit would be. But as long as you just working with, I think of my man um, Mark Bush of the uh, Twisted Tongue podcast. Y'all make sure y'all go fuck with him too. Um, 
he got a, a real, you know, he has a a, a lot of wisdom, um, and an ulterior uh, perspective. Um, I think y'all will like him. Um, he broke down the whole sports background of how that whole thing works up to the point where they get to the NFL to whether the um and I think I've spoken on this before too how the you know the uh the white coach uh sees that there's no father in the house but this little boy can run real fast so he come in as the um be the stepfather to the child because he sees the potential in him and then from the day one this nothing ass bitch his mama she just oh and, and it's just you're told to listen. This is, Mark said this. You're told to do what this white man says, and he's this white man is such a good man from the beginning. Um, that's from the, the the high school, college, and by the NFL, you already know what it is. But it's just it's the slave auctions have went from the um, <laughs> from them coming off the boat to them coming out of college. They just changed the name. It was from slave auction to the NFL draft. Combine. But that's that's something different. Um but it's like for us to like it shows dog like you have zero self awareness. My nigga during this time when this thing first hit when when, when it, it was said that He's kneeling because our black men and this shit is ran, this whole fucking league, sports in general is ran by black men. Except hockey. It's ran by black men and we're like this is all you have. America is the new Rome. This is all you have. To distract the people on how fucked up this shit is. And so you you buy off. You give the niggas. Nigga trinkets. But before you brought the gladiators. To the arena. You made sure that. You tried to make sure. And you know what. I can't even say that. I can't even you know. Confidently say that. Because. It's us as children to, you know, want to skip school, not go to school. I hate math class and shit like that. So it's not to say that you want to make us dumb. But if you look at it, you know, we had an economics class in high school. But we don't have that many, you know, that much understanding on what to do with money and shit like that. Obviously, most, you know, we're broke as fuck. We don't, we don't know what to do with money. So... You give us this, 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 you know, million, three hundred thousand, and shit like that. But it's like, at the end of the day, we end up like any other fucking athlete. Body is shot to shit. We can't fucking work. Um, we didn't when he got this big ass house. We've accrued all this fucking, these, all these bills that once we got the lead, we can't pay no more. And but that's that's not their fault. That that's that's on us. We have to. We have the money, so as long as we have the money, we have the opportunity. If we let the opportunity get away from us, that's on us. Uh, but we did have the opportunity. Um, so, but that that's just me talking to the the NFL players who had the nerve to speak out against Jay Z partnering with their boss. What the fuck? You niggas is bought. You niggas is bought and paid for. Oh, he went. Like, right, come the fuck on, my nigga. Come on, dog. Y'all got dick. All right. Um. So let's get down to it. Um. When Cap goes in there and shows everyone, because he is the bastion of hope. He is the leader, whether he knows it or not. You know, Nike comes and shows their support. Um. You are the leader of this movement. If you come on a podium and say, 
I'm glad we were able to settle this dispute. Um, the NFL always had great uh, people. I think this whole thing was about um, uh, making sure justice was served. And today the NFL has shown that they do care about justice being served. Um, I love the NFL and I love um, America. Now, if he had to make that speech in order to get back in the NFL, do you think he would have made it? When he signed that deal, that's pretty much what he was saying. That's pretty much what he was saying. Um, it's all good. It's all good. Let's go back to normal business. And now um, the NFL says, okay, and then that whole um, uh, Jay-Z been talking to the NFL uh, without letting Colin Kaepernick know. It's like, hold the fuck on. Who, who is it that we're trying to get to change? Who's who is it that we're trying to get to let Colin back in the game? Is it the hair salon? Is it Kroger's? Is it Walmart? Or is it the fucking NFL? Don't you have to talk to the goddamn people that you're trying to get? And that's just that sensationalism, 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 sensationalism. Of just, oh my god, look at it. Then, then his fucking girlfriend, she spoke up. And it's like, hey, bitch, y'all took y'all money. Y'all took y'all fucking money. You don't got shit to say about nothing. Yeah, he fucking betrayed us. What the fuck? Do you under... And it's like, of course, we're looking at it like, bitch, you just speaking up, you know, because you want more money. Like, bitch, you got the money. And if you was his wife, you probably wouldn't be saying a goddamn thing, for real. You probably trying to be fucking divorced and shit. So you can take that fucking money. Um, don't get me started there. But at the end of the day, what we will say is, if we're going to say that Jay-Z is a, um, a sellout, for, before we go there, I want to say this too. This is where intention and a person's reputation comes into play. If Jay-Z has a reputation of having money and not giving our people opportunities of having money and and being a uh, you know like you don't get none of this shit it's all mine if he has that type of reputation if he has a reputation of um not doing anything for the progression of us um think that's what 444 was all the fuck about um but if if in your mind jay-z has never and he his reputation is to be a slime ball and you just have these so many countless fucking times where he's been a horrible not a not a bad businessman i'm talking about has not helped out our people has not looked out for the interests of our people. If that's what it is, then when he goes into this meeting and he and he goes into this press conference, what he's guilty of of is not um, speaking in the language we want him to speak with this situation. We want Jay Z to say, "Nigga, we in this bitch. We made it, nigga. You know what the fuck it is, nigga. We finna get everybody in this bitch, nigga. We finna change all. The we want him to say that shit, but he kept it. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said." Moving in a room full of vultures, moving, like if, if if you maybe you've never been in that situation where you've had to really be in close quarter with wolves, in close quarter with snakes. Maybe you've never done counter surveillance. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't know shit about keeping your enemies close. You know what I'm saying? And, and that'll be something that it'll be hard to explain to you because you've never had to be in these situations. And so you never had nothing on the line. Um, that means that you, you never had anything that you wanted behind enemy lines. That That's... So... At the end of the day, it comes down to reputation and intent. 
if that's the person that Jay Z is, I, I and I, I imagine that there are people that are employed by him, and then that whole Fed shit with him having, you know, the girl with the Fed. I don't, I don't agree with none of that shit. But in this situation right here, um, I don't like people shooting past um, one person and going at the other one. Um, because as niggas, we will do that. Uh, we don't know what, what he got, but I think Jay-Z finna get a whole bunch of money. Like, what the fuck is wrong with us? You know what I'm saying? And, and it says a lot, also a lot about us. Um, when the war is over. When the war is over. Whether you know it or not, whether you understand it or not, but we really do like beef. We thrive off beef. We, as human beings, um, it's in our, as Americans at least, but you can see it all around the world. We really thrive off violence, conflict. We love drama. And see, our issue, our issue as black people is, man, we want to march and protest. But see, the problem is, see, with this Me Too shit, Me and Too shit, Lord help me, I understand what I'm doing. I, but I, I, like I said, and that's, so that's what I'm saying. I, I, I understand, see, that's what I'm saying. I understand <laughs> the masses not understanding the way you move, but them seeing your move. And sometimes they'll blow up your fucking spot. They'll, you know what I'm saying, alert the fucking, you know what I'm saying, by just, what the fuck, and all that other shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, shut the fuck up. Why the fuck he win? <laughs> Nigga. It's, 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 it's to say, um, um, you know that a person is a blood, but you see him with a blue rag on in a party, and you like, what the fuck? And you just scream like, what the fuck? What? It's like, nigga, my enemy is a crip. If I wear a red rag, I'm not going to be able to get close as I need to to hit this nigga and get away with it. But you wouldn't understand it. Like I said, this is because you niggas are just so used to um, yelling, yelling, all right, all right, but you really don't want shit. And in this situation is... You you want to oh yeah hell yeah pro even though this is a we understand how important this cause is but in order for something to change first of all we're not gonna change it on the fucking football that's the first thing niggas will get so enthralled in the protesting and in NFL we protesting they don't like us kneeling we protesting for gun violence what the fuck wrong with the NFL they trying to kill us NFL trying to kill us in the street what you've lost all sight of what the fuck you just want to scream yeah fuck us help us hands up don't shoot stop the NFL <laughs> hands up don't shoot shut down the NFL like what the fuck and then on that on that note, uh, Mark Bush made another good point where he said for the athlete's whole life, he's been told what to do from his mama. She's told him what college to go to because the fucking the coaches came in and told her he'd go to money. And this is why you have I've spoken about this, why you have some mothers walking out of the um draft or, or whatever whenever the high school student goes to his college when he picks his college they'll walk out of that shit because florida then already told her you got a hundred thousand dollar janitor job move up here you know what i'm saying hundred thousand dollar year janitor job but he want to go over here to alabama it's like you know for because i think this would be a better school she don't give a fuck by no better school she's trying to get that fucking money you will actually see this mothers Walking out of press conferences of their sons because he didn't go to the school she wanted. So, what do you think 
the mothers of these NFL players are saying about this kneeling situation. Go watch Mark Bush Twisted Tone podcast. Watch Tayna. Um, we get so tied up and enthralled in protesting, not and not real protesting, actually going out there with you no, know I'm saying and actually putting in work, but I'm to my online. Fuck the NFL. I'm with it. Like, we get so high. Uh, NFL. Not, we don't need none of the facts. We just, uh, yeah, fuck the NFL. They killing us in the street. What? You, you agree with the NFL? You, you, you a motherfucker. It's like, you know, while the whole time you, like, nigga, your, your older cousin is in the NFL. Your brother's in the NFL. Like, your dad is in the NFL. You're like, but you arguing with somebody online about, how the NFL is killing us in the street. So it, 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 it's madness all over. But we'll get so enthralled in the protesting process and, and arguing and fighting the fighting part that when it's time to actually sit down, be diplomatic, and now, okay, we hear you. What do we need to change? Uh, uh, Hands up! Don't shoot! Stop the NFL! Hands! It's like what? Oh no! 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 I'm telling you! No! 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 We hear you. We're gonna work in any facet that we can to make that um, become a reality. What do you need from us? Um. To be honest, I I never thought about this part of the. Protest? Did you? No, no. Yeah, I was. I just had. He just told me to hold the sign. I was just. Uh, I'm not even sure why we out here. Um, I love the NFL. I watch it every every Sunday. I, I, was, I, I just wanted to come out and hold the sign. But when you have somebody that knows that doesn't need the money, that can't be bought out. He already has all the money. He can't be bought out. What better the man who's telling us stop putting the fucking money phone by your ear? Wouldn't he be like who embodies he came from crack? Even though you can be changed, yes you can. But this is where like so what else do we have? We're gonna send Quando Rondo in that motherfucker? NBA young boy, Kodak Black? Of course. So now we got somebody in there who understands business, who can speak that language. And honestly, uh, I, I just, without, you know, riding with it, it's just like, without me riding with it, I'm just saying, like, I want y'all to name me somebody better that y'all would rather have in that seat. You know what I'm saying? Who else would you want to have in that seat? I looked at it a certain way, and like I said, I salute my nigga DJ for speaking to me um, and really breaking it down because me, as a, a nigga who's never really had no real, real money like that, you know, street money and shit like that. Having some, you, it, it's, it's just a different place. So, me, I understand that I'm not the whole world. So, there are people who can do stuff better than me. And as far as being in a room and knowing what is what and being, you know, like being a black man, being a black man and, um, hasn't shown any sign of not being a black man um i'm gonna ride with him i'm gonna ride with him in this situation right here that's not to say that jc gonna give me a fucking job that's just like no one should expect a job out of it but as far as him hitting us with the uh uh al sharpton or you know whoever else you know the whoop the whoop 
uh, which is another reason why I wish I could have DJ on the show where he could talk about the the people who um, w- were who would lend sell their services to people who were having a racial issue at their company. They would go and pay uh, Jesse um, or Jesse or fuck his. Uh, Al Sharpton, who is who is a Jesse though? Jesse, Jesse James, who the fuck is Jesse? I can't think of that either. The camera, but um, so you can pay Al Sharpton, and he'll come. You'll give him a million dollars, and he'll come out there, and he. It's a good company. See, they they dealing with me. I don't think he Jay Z is being that person because you can't buy Jay Z. Um. I don't think you can, and and maybe I'm wrong about this, but before all of that, though, before I even go there, because like I said, that, that's that's an area where I'm not versed, but I am versed in reputation and intention. If Jay Z had the reason why everybody's like holding back and like, well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens is because he doesn't have this reputation. He doesn't have the reputation of being like this. You know, in the beginning, I likened this to, um, and I was talking to Katrina from the Conversation With Me show, I likened this to T.I. doing a deal with Gucci. It's like, how in the fuck can you do a deal with a company that you just fucking boycotted for good reason? And um, it's like, this, this would be different because... He came at it from a standpoint of I'm standing with Kaepernick. Um, and once Kaepernick folded, it's like, okay, now we can do regular business. So what Ka- Kaepernick did do is he opened the doors to where now there is this job is needed now. We need a, we need some, let's get some African, African American representation here as far as even though, of course, they're going to do him just like they did Obama. You in here, but you not, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, I believe they're going to do that. But just to have somebody in there to where now you got to walk lightly. Don't just do no blatant bullshit. And we'll see how it turns out. But because of his reputation and his intent of what I've seen, which will be his reputation, um, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt um, and say that he's not doing this just all oh, he gave me a check so shit i'm in this bitch i think it's deeper than that i think it's far deeper than that um so that's what i'm saying with it um like i said i could be wrong but let's let's talk about kaepernick let's do that let's talk about kaepernick we, it's a lot of pressure on uh jay-z and all that let's talk about kaepernick what did he do what did he do who sold like who really sold the fuck out so, in anything that you say, anything that you say in the comments, make sure you have motherfucking receipts, as they say. You're not just going to be in this motherfucker talking. Um, but, do that. Uh, make sure you hit the PayPal. Make sure you um, go to the Patreon if you're not already there. If we're not already here uh, on the Patreon, which I'm sure this is going to go on the Patreon either way. Um, I'll release it on the Patreon first and then release it to the YouTube. Um, but... Just handle business. Um, make sure that you subscribe to the Stupid Rappers channel and the Rap Trap. I got a lot of good stuff coming up on those channels very soon. Y'all handle business. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love, love.